Well, hello from South Africa, and we are in the middle. We are in the middle, almost near the end of October, and this means we are in full spring season here now. It is just gorgeous weather outside, and I keep thinking I wish I could just take my PC and go sit outside and enjoy the afternoon weather. It is really so nice, and this made me I reminisce a little bit about the old days of high school. Remember, this was we were still playing cassettes and uh, vinyl, vinyl records and LPs. Uh, CDs were just coming in, just just coming in. It was only the rich kids that could afford it back then. And I remember always during examination time with weather like this, telling my parents, hey, I'm going to sit outside and study. And there would be an argument that would ensue over whether I'm actually going to get any studying done while sitting outside in the garden. And I would convince them I would be doing it. And within five minutes, an ant crawling over a blade of grass would be more interesting than the French Revolution from my history book. And uh, this is what the memories of the weather brings up. I know I'm, I'm getting off track here, and then I suddenly remember a story that I often encounter when I meet up with foreign friends, and we talk about the sports that we typically play here in South Africa. Well, we have soccer, and then we have rugby, and then we play a game that only those who play it and those countries that play it understand it, and that is cricket. Now, cricket has evolved a lot. There used to be only test, and then we had one day. Now we have 2020, various levels of cricket to make it more interesting. And it doesn't matter how my friends from abroad, from countries like the States or from Asia, watch it and you explain it to them, they just can't get it. And one of the things they often tell me about a test, it's like, it goes on forever. Like, what, five days? And I know when I look at it, I often think, what the hey, nothing goes on. It's just, it's a game for five days. But let me tell you, examination time, and you have to study for two, three weeks consecutively, a five-day test is the most beautiful thing you can encounter. Suddenly, every over counts. Everyone, every over, every bowl, is magnificent and that's when you fall in love with games like that because it takes away the boredom and i really think you know this is why if you go back 20 30 40 years in time sports played far bigger role than it does today because it was a distraction we did not have ipads we did not have all these hundreds of subscription tv channels but what we have now is the internet and that brings us back to trailer box that was a huge prelude to what we are going to be looking at in the trailer box. And let's talk quickly about the trailer box going to Elementor. There are many elements that you will find from many developers. And when you use them, you will keep thinking to yourself, but these elements, they are all so similar. And yes, they are very similar in many aspects. They all will differ somehow, and you have to consider that they are making templates for you to use. That's why if you look at Elementor at its basic form, it says you're basic. And these 10 widgets often make up most of the websites, and then you have the general grouping after that. And with those 20 plus widgets, you can make any website you want. And what these other developers are doing is giving you more control over certain features, giving you also their ideas, how they are represented, and then also giving you templates, how to do that. And the trailer box is such a template. Let me show you, I'm going to bring in a three column section over here, and then I'm going to search for trailer box. Now, as it loads, you will immediately think it's an icon box, but the trailer box, needs an image. And this is a very strange decision by BD Themes that the image is not included here, but it's included as a background. So you have to click over all the way to advanced and then go into background. And then you're going to choose your background type classic and then choose your image from here. So let's choose the Louvre and then go style it under content. So you have your title, pre-title over here, which is, and then you have your title over here. 
and then you have your content over there. And you can put it in the center to the right and justify it. And you can also place it in various areas within this trailer box. Let's go back to default, leave it. That's default. So let's say bottom left. You can play around with the maximum width. I'm going to delete that, leave it as is. I'm going to change the minimum height. Let's make that 800. Okay. Now what you can do with this trailer box is it draws the attention. So if I hover over it, it will make a little animation over here for the text title and the description. But you can also link this, which makes it a good call to action. You can include a button and then you will see view details appear over here and we will style that one. So you have your button and you can change your text over there and you can also add an icon. And I never know which icon to choose when it comes to things like this. Always choose something a little bit different. Let's say check. Let's see how that looks. View details. Yeah, take it away. Okay. And that is, in a nutshell, what the trailer box is. So if I were to hover over the view details here and I click, it can take me to the link I have specified. Um, let's see a little bit what we can do in terms of styling, title, color. Let's make that, let's make that white. Let's change, play around with the, let's make it, what shall we make it? Railway. Railway. Okay, I like railway. One of those fonts I'm very fond of. <laughs> Pardon the pun. Which one is this? Text color, title color, text color. Let's go to white as well and reduce that a little bit to there. Let's see orange. Yeah, orange, not bad. Let's do the orange thing. Also make that railway. Okay, and I'm going to, for my line height, type in one and then 0.2. No, nope. let's make it 0.4. That looks better. And then get out of there. I can add some animation to, at this moment, it is this default content up. Let's choose content. That's the default setting. Image scale up like this. Image scale down. So then you have to do it. And you can also have none. I think the idea of the trailer box is to have that little bit of animation. It works nice. It draws the attention. And then for the button, unfortunately, again, there's that problem for me that the button is just too close to the description. So I cannot really put a border around it and make it look like a true button. But what I will do is I will apply some padding to the top. There we go. And then for the text color, I'm going to make that white. No, let's go for gray. Yeah. Okay, let's reduce it a little bit. And then shall we also change the topography? We will use railway, right? Let's do railway again. And let's do the weight around 300. Okay. And I'm going to put it on uppercase. And then give it a letter spacing of one. Ah, that's starting to look good. And then we have to, because it's a button, one of the important things is to give people the idea that the button has acted. You have to give it a hover color. So I'm going to make it yellow. Good. It does something there. And what I'm also going to do with the button is I'm going to give it a border, but I'm only going to give it a border at the bottom. So let's make it bottom one. Ah, that looks pretty. Doesn't it look pretty boys and girls? Indeed, it looks pretty. So there you've got a very nice, good looking trailer box. So what I'm going to do next is just a little bit play around with it. First, I'm going to copy it and then I'm going to paste it over here so you can add a second one. And of course, the big difference will be your image. Am I now in the right spot? Click on this. Yeah. Let's choose Eiffel Tower. Why nothing? Oh, background overlay. No, deleted. Where am I? Background. Here we go. 
so proud of myself just a few seconds ago and there I blow it. Okay, so you have to go and change maybe the color for this and your link here naturally. Let's add another trailer box and this is just a little styling option and ideas. I'm going to add this one in the middle and I'm going to leave it at the setting of 400. Also for the background, let's go and give it a gradient. So we can make it something like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I was playing around earlier. Okay, and then you can add your stuff in there or you can put a picture in the back. I'm going to duplicate it here. And now to align it here at the bottom, I'm going to play around with this one. It's currently at 400 and I think I'm going to put it at 485. Ooh, what am I doing? 385. And then reduce 5. Well, I can could have taken off 10, 10 for each. Let's do that. 390. Make this one also 390. Seems, ah, 20 pixels, that gap. That's looking very nice. And it displays very well and very pretty. I really like it. I'm curious if I can put a background overlay. I, where did we see that background overlay? Mm -hmm. And then change the opacity. No, I do not see the opacity for the background overlay, even though the image is background. Why can I not apply the background overlay if the image is background? Anyway, that was a valiant effort, but the dividends did not pay out. Nice trailer box. It's a call to action basically, but it also draws your attention and you can either add some images in the background or you can put some gradient styling here. Let's have a look at what BD Themes did. This is also applied with sections and columns where all the padding has been removed. All these images in the background, you have to bring them in like this. And you can see how they all have that little jiggly jiggly feeling when you hover over them. Very nicely done for products. I can see the application for this for products. Very nicely done. And then here, similar to what I had done earlier. Good. That is the trailer box.